What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with a look at a Socket 2011 Hackintosh build. If you haven't seen it yet and have some time to kill, check it out by clicking the annotation you see right about now. With that out of the way, let's have a look at the completed build. The machine is encased in the Graphite Series 600T case from Corsair. On top of the clean, modern look, this case features tons of space to work, a hardware fan controller, as well as tons of I.O. options. Up top, we have one USB 3.0, one Firewire 400, line in, fan controller, line out, and four USB 2.0 ports. On the back of the machine, we have the rear I.O., the outputs of the GTX 670 graphics card, antennas for the Wi-Fi card, and the power supply. The rear I.O. consists of four USB 2.0 ports, a CMOS reset, two USB 3.0 ports, a standard Ethernet jack, optical audio, two eSATA ports, two more USB 3.0 and 2.0 ports, a Bluetooth receiver, as well as the traditional audio outputs. The Gigabyte GTX 670 consists of two DVI, one HDMI, and one display port. Now let's rip off that side panel and have a look inside. Here's a brief look over the hardware, and as you can see, we have a fair bit to discuss. The motherboard we're using is the P9X79 Pro from ASUS. This board runs on the X79 chipset, uses socket 2011 processors, has 8 memory slots, and overall just packs a serious punch. For more information on this board, be sure to hit that subscribe button. This build is using an Intel Core i7-3930K 6-core processor and is being cooled by a Corsair H80i liquid cooler. For memory, we're using 32GB of Corsair Vengeance. The graphics card we're using is the Gigabyte GTX 670. This card features 2GB of GDDR5 memory, 1344 CUDA cores, and a great Windforce cooling system. Powering all this great hardware is a 750W Corsair HX750. This is a modular power supply which really helps keep the system looking nice and clean on the inside. There are 3 Intel 330 series 120GB solid state drives in this build. Two of them in a RAID 0 for OS X and one by its lonesome for Windows. Along with those three SSDs, there are two 2 terabyte hard drives for storage and backups. Now that we've covered all of the major components, let's turn this puppy on. Personally, I really like the white glow of the LED fans in this case. The red LEDs of the motherboard offer a nice touch as well. The HADI cooler also looks great in this case with the gray fans, black tubing, and light up CPU brick. All of those LEDs make for a pretty awesome looking machine in the dark. Although there's a decent amount of LEDs in the computer, they offer a more subtle effect rather than being outright blinding. Last but not least, let's have a look at the benchmarks. The first benchmark I ran was a good old fashioned Geekbench. This machine scored just over 17,000 and that's with a 4.0 GHz overclock. Moving on to Cinebench, let's perform an OpenGL test first. The GTX 670 scored about 43 frames per second. Moving on to the CPU portion of the Cinebench test, the 3930K scored 11.59 CPU points. Keep in mind, that's with the same 4.0 GHz overclock. Now let's have a look at the read and write speeds of the RAID 0. As you can see here, the Intel drives in a RAID 0 array offer almost 1 gigabit per second symmetrical speeds. Needless to say, just about any application you open on this system will be nearly instant. This has been a brief overview of the Socket 2011 Hackintosh that I built live. I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. Also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and I hope to see you guys back here soon.